uh, for my later reference, so I can remember what I thought a year from now when I teach this class again. Alright, hopefully the volume mix I'm having some issues with, but the levels look all right. Alright. Uh, I am feeling a bit under the weather, so if I seem unenthusiastic. This is probably not the game. I kind of like this so far of the Cinemaware ones I've played. I like this one the best. The game for the desert is really cool and a lot of fun, but also has these simple. I, mean, I cannot figure out these other games. Alright. Um, let me use some. Yeah. Is it open? Can I just not hit the right button? Hearing the, the fake disk drive. Hitting return, hitting. I, I did not have any trouble with this game last. Uh, start the movie. Didn't have to do that last time. Weird. More loading. Uh, yeah, the Amiga, unlike the Mac, had two, maybe even three buttons. Out with the old, in with the new. So, Alright, so this game is, as far as I can tell, um, it is not a linear game. Uh, as I was playing yesterday, there is uh, a bunch of different... Oh my god, this is this is going way too fast. Um, no, what? No, I do not want to do that. Um, oh dear, wait, what? Please slow down. Um, I put the floppy drive speed up. That should not make the entire game go this fast. But it is. Uh, so this minigame is going to go very poorly. Well, this one will really shine. At least this will be a quick death. Um, the, yep. Okay. Sounds good, Pinky. Sir. There's really no way out of this. As we just, at least we can see this. I guess I'll just click very quickly. Yeah, I hit the button and throw a bomb. That's just... Too soon. Huh, that seemed like it was at the same speed. Oh, yeah, blame peepers. Well, now it seems like it's at normal speed. That's not. It is a so pinky. I trust this guy. I mean, the music isn't sped up. Why was the stuff? Let's see if it's still going. Uh, hey, a little relaxation. If I don't play this right, I ain't seen tomorrow. So yes, I am Pinky Callahan. Uh, a rough, tough guy. Uh, entirely assembled out of uh, gangster movies that don't try. Al Capone's here. I don't think he a little view. I have not seen this one. All right. What do you want? This is Tony Simtucci. Sure, and I'm Al Capone. Who the hell is this? I told you, I'm Tony Simtucci. I think we can help each other out. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's not. This path. What? Rude. Pinky. I like funny guys. Pinky, I'll send you a new dime. Don't call me Pinky. What? I thought my name was Pinky. What is my name? Hold down. I want to talk business. How about I would stay? 
He can't play Pinky too nice. I could make you the boss of the most. So. Well, I'm gonna be the king of Chicago. Get serious. I want the most. So. Man is one tough bird. You don't have to worry me. Thanks, Johnny. I believe in you. What? Yeah, yes, I do. Sounds like you need a vacation. I we all need a vacation. Go pay a visit to your boss, Scarface. Hey, you don't call him that. I'll grind that mug to base. Mine? Um, that's all ambiguous. Not totally clear. Northside HQ is buzzing. King Capone is dead. I thought he was dead and... I guess not, Jeff. Chicago is a wide open town. Uh-oh. You can hear it. You can hear it out there. The tough guy. Ben will level with me. Uh, I'll get the boys mad at the old man. Maybe get him a little drunk and who knows? Someone might wind up dead. I like the way you think, Pinky. Uh, I like your... Flesh colored stubble. And... Yeah. I, I play a mug. If you want to see a mug, look at the Macintosh version there. They're all built out of like clay or something and then digitized. Talk loud and carry a big gun. Okay, that seems subtle. Do it. I wanted to duck you alone, because this is between us, see? Hoover sucks. <laughs> Environmental storytelling. I'll be quite as great, peepers. Oh, this is the sucky driver. I wouldn't be telling you this if I didn't trust you. Bet he wants to back me against the old man. Okay, let's just let him talk. He's, he's saying I wouldn't tell you. Oh, wait, I clicked. Mm -hmm. Don't let me... Boys are ready to back me against the old man. Oh, I'm gonna roll with it. He got it. Okay. I made the right choice, boy. Where's Bull stand? Uh-oh. You boys just made the smartest move of your life. This town is ours for the picking. I think my accent is basically just Phil Hartman. I think that's that's what I'm gonna drift towards for all this. Various shades of various Phil Hartman characters. All right, Pete. All right, Mr. Deaf Guy. I gotta do it. I bet that'll help me. Uh, yeah, let's get let's get everyone on our side. Ben's my man. Uh, before we take on the old man, he's one old man. So he will take twenty of us. Is Ben a traitor, or is he just soft? Or maybe he is looking towards the future. Let's see. I recall Ben looking like Thorne's Tyranny, so I like him. I want him on my side. Yep, there we go. Got a minute, Ben? Spit it out. Oh, God. Right, so this is where, see, from this angle, everyone looks kind of human. Uh, I should ask him right out. Okay, let's, uh, you know, bush. Ben, I ain't gonna beat around the bush no more. That is a very funny bit of dialogue. I've seen that before. You with me? You're talking in riddles. I ain't got time for games tonight, Pinky. Spit it out. You asked. I need help getting rid of the old man. So yeah, this is always phase one of this game. Ain't you forgetting a little detail? I got it all, Gallad. What's in it for me? He's in. That's not a choice. I'm going for 40,000, 20 is plenty. I don't know what money means at this point. I need your brains. I'm gonna give you a 40,000 salary, Ben. I wish I could have gone for 30. <laughs> I don't pull the trigger, got me? We got the boys out of here for half an hour. At least the, uh, I do the dirty work. The, the shooting, uh, shooting guys with the pistol game. Or the little I've experienced of it is uh, not 
incomprehensible unlike many single-wear mini games. I believe I will be able to shoot an old man successfully. Old gang leaders never die. They get retired one way or another. You know, drifting towards Billy West doing Phil Hartman territory. It's not good. Anyway, you wanted to see me. Just a little business for you. Raise some hell. How is business? Good. Business is good. He's stalling. He knows something about it. Sure, let's plug him. Uh, no, let's, uh... He has to retire peacefully. Let's get on with it! My one regret is that I didn't plug Mr. Capone before he got sent up the river. He's in Leavenworth now. I thought he was... That, what, that's what I said. Hmm. Leavenworth's down there. Oh, don't! You got a quick time. Nice little musical sting there. Uh, I'm just touchy about geography. Uh, don't get too touchy. It's bad for the heart. Um, I'm sure Doug Sharp's mind is just snappy batter. What's on your mind? I mean, it's it's good. It's good. I do not tease. Uh, I didn't want you, Binky. You like the business. You're good at it. Comes natural, I guess. I got a face for gangster. You're ambitious, too. Oh, yes, I am. Uh, but you're inexperienced. Inexperienced, huh? I'll show you. I may be young, but I got plenty of experience. Because up until very recently, my life was running at eight times speed for some reason. Uh, one thing. Gotta move fast in this business. I'm on that. All right. Business is changing. You gotta be smart too. Come on. Let's. I want to get into. He's talking about smart and fast. I'll show him how much it's changing. Damn right, it's changing. And it's changing tonight. Da -da -da. What the hell does that mean? All right. Get my finger on my mouse. Means you're through. Out of here. God. But I got work to do with Capone God. It's a Thursday. I got it. That's young man's work. That old man could be a bad example for the boys. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to regret giving. Bobo, that 40,000. Then. No, it's much for turbo speed. You're out of here, Keister. I'm your Keister, and I'm the new top dog. Says who? Well, I mean, obviously me. Don't give me that. Uh, you are smarter than this, Pinky. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to get out of here without shooting this guy. You can try to be as con I think I was even more conciliatory last time. Maybe Ben's that kind of smart. Me, I'm dumb and mean. Oh, too late. Oh well, I have it on video. Uh, Ben's not gonna sit still. It's ben faints with his nose, please. Rough. Ben's, you're giving Ben 40,000 a year for this. Ben's not gonna save you, old man. 40000 a month. In $1930? Oh, man. I don't need I should have just done this. Screw Ben. You don't mess with that. He's almost there. Uh. Sure, no, thank you. Just answer the street. Want to die tonight or don't you? Yeah, see? He's not, he's never gonna, he's never gonna give in. Nah, I can knock him. Maybe I didn't try this last time. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thus ended. Well, hmm. I'm not saying do that again, so maybe it is time to go on to a different game. 
I'll come back to this tomorrow. Uh, this is me chipping it. Because, yeah, that intro, you gotta go through pretty much the same intro every time. I know that it starts getting interesting. Uh, I should have done a save state in there, but I didn't expect to get shot. I was, uh, hubris. I mean, I guess, again, told a very reasonable story about a, a man who was dumb and mean. Uh, R.I.P. Pinky Callahan. Again. Uh. Alright. So, next up on the docket is Sinbad. Um, so Sinbad, so right, I think King of Chicago, Defender of the Crown, SDI, and I think Sinbad. Sinbad got delayed, but it was basically one of the first four, um, one of the first four uh, Cinemaware games. Uh, certainly one of the first four contracted. Uh, and yeah, so it was basically, they did Defender of the Crown, SDI, through this company that totally kind of botched them, uh, and then... Uh, I mean, Cinemaware wasn't originally going to develop. They, the original idea, the, the, the guy I found it was essentially an agent. Uh, he was going to publish uh, games made by other people under his sort of broad producerial direction, i.e. that he likes things that are kind of broad genre ideas that are, you know, uh, stages for really nice graphics, preferably featuring some ladies on the bosomy side. Um, you know, simple, simple fare for the, um, for the masses, albeit the masses who could afford a Amiga at that point. Um, but yeah, popcorn flicks, right? So you get King of Chicago, which is gangster movies. You get Defender of the Crown, which is sort of Errol Flynn. You get SDI, which is the weird one, which is kind of Cold War intrigue. But, uh, and then you get Sinbad, which is, you know, Sinbad. Um, but Sinbad is made by Bill Williams. Um, and Bill Williams is an interesting guy. There is a very long, very good article about him on, uh, as I will often say, philfrey.com, F-I-L-F-R-E dot net, sorry, uh, Jimmy Mayer's site. Um, and yeah, Bill Williams uh, did Alley Cat. Uh, is his probably his most famous game. Most people, I think, who played Alley Cat have not played it in his original Atari 800 version, but played it in by a pirated DOS version. That was just one of those games that was on every single DOS computer you encountered in the 80s. Um, made Necromancer, but yeah, it was very early on the Amiga. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to grab another seltzer, but while I do that, why don't I play this intro for you? Um, why don't I figure out how to uh, make this full screen? So, enjoy. I will be back. Enjoy. What a miss. Uh, the title. I missed the title. Thank you. Alright. There we go. So I really have not played any of this. Um, but yeah, Bill Williams made some of it, made one of the very first uh, Amiga games, Mindwalker. I'll play that later, maybe. For many years of adventure on high seas, you have sailed back to Fable Demeron, the tranquil island kingdom of your child. You have visited countless exotic lands, and witnessed amazing things, but I've never, oh, I'm sorry, um, as you cruise into the bay, but I've never done the very same day, you want to sail on your pulse begins to quicken. But as a dimly pulsing stone to your breast, and eagerly search the horizon for signs of the city, the shining towers of Damaron, your home. Okay. The reason of your homecoming, however, is a cause for anguish, not joy. A fortnight ago, you were startled by a keening sound coming from the stone you now hold in your trembling hand. It is the Theronol Stone, a brilliant crystal given to you by the Caliph of Damaron. It's a gift of great value, for it can be used to relay messages to its twin, kept deep in the royal vaults of Damaron. 
So is it just screaming in there? Okay, after a frantic search, you had not used it in years. You located the stone in your heart fell as a message of distress from Caleb's daughter, the beautiful Princess Sylphani. That's subtle. The Caleb, it seems, is trapped in the form of a falcon, unable to rule, unable to name his heir. Uh, the wise men of his court know little about this kind of magic and seem powerless to undo the spell. After consulting the Great Library, they can only offer this. If the Caleb is to be saved, it must be done soon. The longer he stays in the Falcon's body, the more animal-like he will become. Oh, just, I believe that is the case in Animorphs as well. So, this, this conforms. Uh, this then is the reason for your return. Help him protect the princess and her brother, Haroon, as they are embarking on a daring quest. But, I, uh, but, okay, I get the gist. This could slow down. Is this still doing the, like, super fast? I have the sands of time. Okay. Okay. No! What? No. Um. Oh, okay. Um. Show me the world! I am here. This is neat. Okay, so I'm Daron. Uh, me and the people are in a party, I gotta turn the falcon into the uh, salt again. Um. This is this is a pretty good effect though. Good job, Bill Williams. So yeah, Williams was very technically capable. He wrote the um, sound and music column in Softline magazine back in the early '80s. So even from a very uh, young age, uh, it was Ben, uh, Bill, and Ken Williams, no relation, writing the sound and graphics. Okay, um, talk to. Let's talk to the princess. What's up? Sorry about your dad. This is nice. See? Uh, I find these graphics quite charming. People at the time apparently did not find this up to the Defender of the Crown level. Oh, Sinbad, I'm so frightened. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Reply. Don't be foolish. There's no need to worry. That's only natural. We're all afraid. Well, don't, not don't be foolish. We're all afraid. Even the mighty Sinbad? Even the wise are always afraid. Well, I meant the others. My, we do like ourselves, don't we? Oh, I didn't mean it that way. Fine. Tell me about your father. Do you know any place? Yeah, tell me about your father. Oh, it's so horrible. I went to wake him in the morning. His bed was a mess, and his falcon was sitting on the arm of his chair. Yeah. According to WikiHow, if you have trouble getting up in the morning, turn on the lights as soon as you wake up to help you feel more alert. I'm if you sorry. tend to hit the snooze button several times. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, yeah, the falcon. Are you sure the falcon is he? Uh, who do you think it? I'm not going to condescend to the point where I'm like. I believe but the game is called Front of the Top. Uh, and I guess I should change that technically. Study of these arts since my father divorced Libertina. All I know is it is a black evil deed. Sounds like something Libertina would do. Um, okay. Uh, let's pause. For a second. Just a. Uh, uh, How do I change this? Okay. Uh, sorry, I just hate to mislead anyone who's. Falcon. Bill. I'm pretty sure 1987, because it did get the one. Okay, that is uh, way too big. Okay. Uh, Let's see the magic as it happens. Yeah, it's too small. Okay, where's the baby bear? That is just right. All right. Okay. Uh, back to Sinbad. Um, ba -ba -ba. I don't want to move anywhere yet. 
Let's, okay, let's talk to her room. Get to know my party. You want to be found out. Is everything alright, Sinbad? Well... Not in the slightest. You look happy about that. At least things are normal then. Hey, isn't bad come uh, the guy's been turned into a falcon. How is your father? Our falcon, yeah. I okay. I don't want to talk about that. Alright, let's hope a better so what do you need that? Uh yeah, let's find out. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or am I gonna have to fight you? Mouse control coming up. Uh oh. I don't know that music has to sound like something more exciting to have. Okay, I mean, I can. Well, focus pretty close. This is way more of a strategy game than I realized. You can have many multimodal. Um, man. Uh, I could go back to Dameron. Let's talk to Sylphani again. What do you got going on? Oh, Sinbad, I'm so frightened. Okay. That's only natural. How did that the whole world just come apart? Well, you're... Ah, that's a little bit of a... I know how you feel. Now these lines are very good. How can you possibly? Because you're fair. Oh, look! I would have said none of those four things. Mouse control coming up. That makes it sound like something... I don't understand. Uh... Let's go Missy, I guess? Show me the top. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is another one. I mean, as with many of these games, I need, to, I need to bumble with it. Then I'll go read the instructions again, and it'll make more sense. Uh... I didn't do anything. Okay, well, good for me. Um, I don't know. Move to... Let's go back to Damron. Move to the Straits of Damron. Okay. Here's the power control. Oh, boy. Ready. I don't understand. Oh, I can... Where am I? How did I miss an entire section? I mean, admittedly, I don't have the real instruction manual. Just... Yeah, hmm. I feel like this is even too impenetrable for this. Let's, uh... Let's give this a save. Because... Wait. Uh... Oh, I see. This is relatively modern. Um... Okay, what's something more my speed? How about the Three Stooges game? There's a Cinemaware game I bet I could handle right now. Uh, yeah, as I said, I'm all under the weather. Uh, so, not feeling like being that challenged to sort of figure out. There we are. These are my guys. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh, and 
And yeah, I mean, one great thing about Cinemware is that like they really did love their subject matters. As you can see, this is uh, this is quite a bit of uh, stooge information. Uh, this is not this is uh, necessary for playing the game. This is just like these guys fucking love three stooges. Uh, so yeah, here's the actual instructions, and it's a collection of mini games basically. Um, but I think probably, I mean, yeah, that's the funny thing and the the. I don't know, the, the story I try to spin around it that I'm still figuring out is kind of like the connection, basically the idea that, that in the mid to late 80s is when things started going sort of multi-member teams as a matter of course, and you get the Epics, California games, Summer games, Winter games, all those, um, which are made by teams, but of course very compartmentalized, literally, in that everyone's kind of just making a different mini game, and then you make kind of a menu, uh, you know, a fancy menu, essentially, with a bunch of Olympic stuff, um, and boom, there's your game. Um, and so, yeah, this idea of, there's this phase of, like, a lot of game, and also just, like, theme first, and then we'll make each mini game mechanically kind of tie into a specific thing instead of an overall thing. Anyway, Three Stooges. This should be, is this two discs? It is two discs. Um... It is under Action 2. Uh, it is a key game, although I probably don't need it there, although it is sort of making that point. Let's see, California Games, Accolades Comics, those three games are kind of about this. Um, all right. Now, am I still doing the... Okay. I guess let's just try that and see what happens. Oh, and I'll definitely want the joystick. I'm reasonably certain this is a joystick-driven game. Um, wait, there we go. Um, oh, there's a nice letter from Moe's daughter at the end. Um, the, uh, does it say? It doesn't really seem to say anywhere whether this is a mouse or joystick game, but it's got to be a joystick game. Um, all right. Let's do it. Let's pause it there for a second. Let me just make sure I got the joystick actually working. Uh, joystick and mouse port default. Uh, I don't know what that means. Um, I had a joystick working last time. Maybe it's because I just plugged it in. Okay, I'm going to... Reload this. Um, there we are. There's the joystick. Alright. Good, and even to remember. F12 is the only way to get around. This is such an odd piece of software. Yeah, it does the job, though. All right. Let's settle in. There's some exciting stooge action. This must be the crack screen. Fun and function proudly presents three stooges. Cracked and fixed the pal. Hmm. Interesting. I always forget which is NTC, which is American, which is... Sorry, there is no sound because of not enough... What? If there's no sound in this version, I need to find a new version. And, uh... I also need to, uh... 
Hmm. Hmm. I don't like this at all. Uh, let me out. Oh. Yes, I, this can't be. Well, looks like I gotta find another version of the Three Stooges for class. I guess best to know now. This must have, I tested, I mean, I definitely tested all the key game software. I don't know. That's messed up. I have to find a new one. Okay, well, what else can I do in the Amiibo realm? Well, I could look at Mindwalker. Uh, there's a game that made absolutely no sense to me, but let's see what we can find. Bill Williams. So yeah, Bill Williams got here. Necromancer, Salmon Run, those are both on Atari. Uh, Alley Cat is in the key game section. And then Mindwalker, Knights of the Crystallion. Um, let's look at Knights of the... Well, sure. Let's look at Mindwalker. So yeah, this is the only instruction I was able to find. Um, a mouse and a joystick. Uh, which is also nice of the Crystallians like that as well. It's very strange. Um, but yeah, this game, you're a physics professor gone mad. Your years of preoccupation with the study of minute particles and obscure formula have twisted you into a tight knot within yourself, and you seem forever lost in your own internal world. The remains of your ego are split into four basic archetypes. You are the strong man, the human, of the earth, able to muscle his way out of any situation. You're the whiz kid, the brave mathematical wizard, a lonely child prodigy. You're the goonish and awkward Sprigan, a creature dredged up from years of fancy reading. And you're the water nymph, the girl of your earliest, and assume that's dreams, fearless, quick and lie. In these forms, you wander in the wasteland of your internal world, first in the mind, then in the brain, and ultimately in the subconscious, trying to find and piece together your precious shards of sanity. Yep, we're doing this. We're definitely doing this. Uh, it's at least this, you know, June is about just sort of reconnaissance. I'm going to bounce off a bunch of games, and then I'm going to, you know, the rest of the summer is when I really uh, figure them out. Okay. Um, I'm going to look at that as we need it. Uh, uh, other games, but one. Mindwalker. So yeah, I think this was even like commissioned by Amiga, or it was definitely uh, one of the very, very, very first. He was he was a known quality. Uh, people really liked Alley Cat and Necromancer. I don't know if they were huge hits, um, but I think they were decent sized hits that were very respected within the field. Um, and people really liked Williams. Uh, Bill Williams, 1985, I believe. And uh, I guess I'll go back up a font size. How's that look? Good. All right. Um, he also had cystic fibrosis, which took him at a pretty early age and definitely was a hugely complicating factor throughout his entire life. And the, the Phil Frey piece goes into that in some depth. Uh, and um, yeah, just a fascinating guy. Um, and yeah, all of his games are very non-violent, kind of idealistic. Um, kind of, yeah, I think he described himself as like, you know, he never had a hit hit, and he was saw himself as being sort of an indie folk kind of, you know. Obviously, Mind Walker isn't going for uh, the lowest common denominator. Um, all right, let's walk some mines. Wow, this is a very early Amiga game. Mindwalker by Bill Williams. Press the mouse, left mouse button to begin. Alright, well, I'm going to have to use the touchpad. Wow. That is pretty baller. Alright. New game. Let's do it. So, there are three stages. Here, I'm going to three your journey. First, you must trace a passive coherent thought. Okay. Uh-oh. Kind of quiet. Uh, let's pause it. 
bring the sounds up a little. Um, and yeah, what are we doing? Okay. Uh, so yeah, the, there are three stages of your journey. First, you must trace a capital letters, path of coherent thought through the chaotic and jumbled brain of your also capitalized mind. Having completed this path, the mysterious connection to the physical capital B brain is unlocked. Okay, so I guess I'll, we'll get to the rest, what we do with the brain, you know, stuff. Uh, but I must trace a path of coherent thought through the chaotic and jumbled brain of my mind. Um, oh, the four different preset games. So those other games are actually, they're not necessarily safe states. They are, like, preceded. There's four seeds, and then I just picked kind of the, the randomized proc gen one, I guess. So be it. Um, the game automatically defaults to the lowest difficulty level. Good. Uh, but I can point the difficulty slider to the top of the screen and drag it. I will not be doing that. Um, uh, there is a price to saving a game. Interesting. More like Hex. You are reset to the condition you're in when you enter the level of that game. Um... I wonder if that's just them get Okay. Here we go. Look at the top of your screen. Sure. Notice the gadgets and icons. You've already seen the difficulty slider. Just the... Okay. And so that must be the little arrow there. That is at the lowest. Good. Uh, just the right of the slider is your life indicator. Sure. You start with three lives, so there should be two extra lives. Yep. Moving right are four letters representing screen directions. Refer to the mind hint section entitled screen directions for more information. The last icon is the scroll. This is explained in the section entitled the map. All right. Uh, when the game begins, you're standing on a square with a crystal. Yes, I am. This location is called a square of crystallized thought. Now take a step to the right. Well, too late. Uh, but I took a step forward. You see the center of the square you're standing on is turned black. You've just created a path that's got a path of coherent thought. A path must originate at the square of crystallized thought and be adjacent to it or to one of the blackened path squares. Diagonally adjacent is fine. Continue moving to the right to create a path of coherent thought. Eventually, you'll reach a square that does not turn black when you step on it. You've reached terrain that requires a different body type in order to continue the path. Changing body types is easy. All you'll need to do is stand on the nearest pyramid, and you'll watch your form change before your eyes. The easiest way to find a pyramid is to check your map. Um, and the map is in the top right corner. Okay. You know, let's, uh, let's see what happens. I like how I move. Oh, I must be the sylph? Wait, what's going on? Uh, okay. Fill an entire map. Path named Poon. Okay. Uh... The highlight area you see is the path of coherent thought you just traced. Notice the lone squares of the path that are drawn in the same color from the one you couldn't draw on. It's a different color. This keeps it... Uh, this is confusing. Uh, using your mouse select wizard. Okay. Pyramid. Oop. Path. Chris. What am I doing here? Am I, why are you just letting me look at the whole map? It's, it seems like it would cost me something. I don't understand. Fill in the turn. See, the thing is, is I'm sure this game makes, Phil Williams does not make games that don't make mechanical sense. It's just he's talking about them in these terms, which I find very confusing. Despite the fact that they're like non-violent and kind of nice, 
They're not easy. If anyone has played Alley Cat, that game is hard as balls. Um, it looks like it should be easy and fun, but it is in fact hard as balls. Um, and uh, I'm going to assume I'm doing the right thing. Um, don't know what that's about. It happens when I hit the button. Oh, now I'm on my feet. Oh no! Good lord, no. That's not good at all. That's a skull. And I, I didn't lose a guy, though. Um, why would I ever do that? That just seems to anger them. And I'm swimming around. Where am I going? Oh, that was fun. Yeah, this is very, I mean, as you can see, that uh, if Bill Williams was a technically respected programmer, um, this must have been very early made, uh, because I bet this does not look like uh, what you're expecting to see from an Amiga game. But yeah, 1985, I guess they were just figuring out, you know? Okay. Um, Okay, well now it's all down again. Um, I want to find one of these pyramids. Okay, so up and to the left. Let's try that. Uh, or left and up. Hello. Pyramid! Um, yeah, the, the perspective is... <laughs> no. How do I? Oh wow! What is happening to me now? Um. All right. So I found a pyramid. And I'm turning it into things. Um. All oh, right. The fractal ray. Press the trigger on your button and hold down to unleash the fractal ray. Uh, when the button is held down, moving the joystick doesn't move the character, but instead it moves the endpoint arrays, only the endpoint destroys enemies. So I guess I just wasn't hitting it. Um, okay. I'm accumulating... So here's what's happening, right? Those, those circles, as you probably guessed, bad thoughts. Um, right? Naturally, there are some impediments to my quest for sanity. Buddy, tell me about it. Uh, bad thoughts are running amok throughout the vast terrain of your mind capital M, and they do not appreciate your attempt to end their free reign. They'll attack you with devastating nihilism beams, and if they manage to annihilate you, you accumulate death poisons. If you collect too many death poisons, you lose a life. The bad thoughts become horrible thoughts as the same game progresses and become equally lethal. Uh, you can tell how many death poisons you have by the size of the skull that appears after your poisoning. Losing a life from poisoning is all too apparent. Uh, you can quash most of the bad thoughts with your trusty fractal ray. The only bad thought you have no defense against is the ever nasty existentialist death mask, which swallows everything you can throw at it, and yet curiously enough is always hungry. Poof. If you walk into a screen with flashing towers and lots of bad thoughts, congratulations. You've been booby trapped. You'll have to figure out how to unlock the trap and defend yourself at the same time. Think good thoughts. I'll do that. All right, but here's a pyramid. Um... So, what do I do with a pyramid? Um, the subconscious, the final evaluation, mind hints, brain hints. Okay, this is a spicy meatball. Okay, here we go. Um, changing body types is easy. All you need to do is stand on the nearest pyramid, you'll watch your form change for your eyes. Sure, but what do the different forms do. Okay, the human can draw on solid blocks, the wizard can draw on the towers, the springing can draw on the hanging platforms, and the nymph can draw on water. I guess it's just, it's, it's, it's New Age Cubert? I don't know, man. Let's find out. Okay. Well, I feel like I've been in the nymph. So, let's be the, the mighty human. Um... Why 
Nope. That one doesn't. That can only heal. Okay. What does the human do? The human can draw on solid blocks. What drew the solid? Ha ha! Eat it, bad thought. Okay. Okay. This sort of makes sense. I can see why this isn't, you know, the game he's remembered for. Um, but I'm curious about it. So. Yep. There we go. See, now I make a path. What are these things? Oh, that's gonna be good, right? But I wanna... So... Okay. Now that I'm, I'm spriggin', I should be able to draw on the hanging platforms. Yet... Nothing. Okay, well, that one, this one, which one count? Yeah. Okay. Getting good at that, at least. So now, what? No! Uh oh. There's the big skull. I guess that's not the biggest skull, though. Okay. This one can I... Why won't this? These are solid blocks. I don't understand what your definition of solid block is, game. Hmm. No one wants to chip in as to what they think is happening here. All ears. That's helpful, at least it shows me where I am. I feel like those are necessary. Okay. Mind walker, indeed. Let's uh, see if there's anything else. Okay, when you trace a complete path to the square of crystal, I thought, on which you landed to the flashing square. You have completed an idea. That's what I need to do. Complete an idea. But where do I find an idea? Where am I? Where am I still here? Do I have 125 points? Yeah, yeah, I don't have points. Okay, but there is a little crystal. I want to make an idea. Man, this is definitely maybe. I don't know if anyone on YouTube is actually. This might be a game where the information must be passed on in oral history from YouTuber to YouTuber. But yeah, it's uh, good music. Bill Williams knows, you know, his way around a sound chip. Um, I'm gonna call it on this one for now. Um, but again, this is all reconnaissance. Uh, I don't think I really need to save that. All right. Something more accessible, but what? Uh, well, there's Knights of the Crystallion. I don't know if I call that more accessible, but it made a little more sense. It does have a very interesting backstory. Um, this one I do have the actual manual for. Um, 
and you can see so this is yeah this is got a more of a, 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 no, a budget but like it comes later I think it's like 88 89 um, you can see it was published by US Golden Britain 89 kind of his last big game and definitely you know it comes with a I believe I think there's a tape um, I know it definitely has a book of poems um, illustrated by his wife Martha um, and these all tie into kind of the backstory of uh, yeah of the world he's created and I read some of this and it's actually you know pretty good uh, not exactly sci-fi but right there's essentially an enormous beast um, that dies in prehistory and then its skeleton is kind of just this enormous thing that that people end up building uh, their civilization around and it's got magical qualities to it um, and uh, yeah the the brain cells did not decay they fossilized they become these pulsing crystals um, the spirit of those crystals can be summoned and then you can that's how you make a crystallion which is a crystal horse um, a life mate for one of the knights of the crystallion and you're trying to become one of those and um, this is like if you mess up then that's really bad so that is why you have to demonstrate your worth by vaulting the riddles and hurdles uh, put in your way. So let's go to the Oradrid city and try to become a Knight of the Gristallion. Um, I'm sure we'll bounce off this one some more. Uh, again, seems like a bunch of weirdly thematically connected minigames. Also, mouse and joystick at the same time, I believe. Um, so that'll be fun. Um, maybe not... Um, definitely mouse. Um, why do I feel like there was joystick involved in this as well? Um, my family budget. There's a lot going on here. Um, now I'm just seeing mouse, mouse, mouse. Um, but I seem to remember, like, attacking in the over game. Um, involved using a joystick. Maybe it just seemed like it should because walking around seemed incredibly awkward. Yeah, I think it just seemed like it should. Okay. So, not a uh, joystick game at all, I'm pretty sure. So good. I can use my actual mouse mouse. Um, all right. Let's reset this. Uh, does that fit? That should almost fit. King Nuggets of the Dristallion. Great. Uh, good enough. All right, nice the Tristarian it is. I guess it came out in Britain in 1990. Um, I wonder if I should hit NPSC. I don't know if it looks notably herky jerky, although. Oh, I like that eyeball already. All right. Let's give this. Name above the uh, name right near the top. I like these sounds. Right there. Oh, the creature died. Definitely has his own style. On it. It's not like, definitely looks. Oh, an order. 
As time passed, the land shift of the sea stream, the process of Spanish money finally died, and the boat died of the war. The ruin and fascist city of his very boats became the state world. I like these tunes. Alright, he has figured out the Amiga chip. Deep within the skull, we make the crystallion out of the ore-rich fossilized brain crystals. See, I was telling you. Stallion awaits its birth. See, I get a fancy horse. This is a. I, I want a thing. Sure, I want my fancy horse. I want the most worthy can reach the crystal leg and pass the first step. Alright. I bet this will be no problem whatsoever. Yes, it is. Um, uh, hello. Um, yeah, let's do that. I like it as this game is trying to help me. I'm confused with the instructions. I do have them open. Alright, see by 1989. It's getting pretty fancy. Look at this. Hello. Oof. Welcome, Seeker. You may plumb the mysteries of the Senate. If you think you're worthy, I'll lend you a suit of Christian armor. It'll save your life three times before it loses its charge. That is very straightforward. To move, aim your inner eye with the mouse. You click the right mouse button. Alright, plasma balls in your inner eye. You click the left mouse button. At least the plasma will drop slowly. If you hold it down, it'll drop it quickly. Oh, yeah. Uh. Um, I can't tell what's good and bad. Oh boy. You seem bad. Or you seem like... What? What is going on? Um... I want to pick these up? That's gotta be good. It's my color. It's me colored. Of course I want to go there. Oh, see, they're bad, right? Because they're not my color. And they make noise. Uh-oh, hello. Oh, excuse me. Oh, dear. Uh, you're just going to you pass out of honor. Your crystal suit. Yeah, that saved me once. Well. Oh, boy. Those guys need business. Uh-oh. What is even going on? I can't go that way. Nope, I can't jump, apparently, I guess. Why is this the first thing I'm supposed to do? Isn't there a card game or something? It seems less hard. Yeah, And this is not interesting. Why did that make it all light all of a sudden? Where am I trying to go to? Uh-oh. Not here. I don't like here at all. Oof. Excuse me, sir. But... Well, now this is just a... Okay, maybe that wasn't done before. I feel like that's gotta be... Is this the way I came from? Can I just leave? Did I just just leave the chamber of the Senate? Because uh I'm gonna wait for it. Guess so. Alright. Pause this for a second. Um let me get the manual. 
Actually, I do have a manual on my iPad, so that way I can figure out what the hell's going on without shuffling the game. Let's see. I think it is recently open enough. This is the book of poems. The fly thinks the ball is flat. The worm thinks the root of the tree. The fish thinks the ends the oar. The man thinks his life is short. Hardtack 1. Nose. Yes, Hardtack 1. Alright. Here's the actual rules for this. Um, uh, yes, the Simit. You have to go through it. Leaving it. To carry crystals out of it, you may either walk out or finish the veil you're on. Okay, so I am trying to collect those crystals. Um, but let's do some of the less deadly games. Let's uh, not die. Let's do Decata. Right. Yep, still bots. Or Disc Decata. The Kata was the card game the Orgrim used to sharpen their telepathic senses. Using meditation, concentration, and memory exercises, Kata gradually honed their ability to see beyond. For those searching for their unborn crystallion, the Kata fused the link between them and their destined companion. Ooh, look at those! At advanced levels, it can even give you peril in the material plane. Click the left mouse button over it to practice your telepathy. Okay. Um, it is a progressive process. The first time the game is played, only small improvements are made in our telepathic abilities, but those cards grow with three hand play. Click the left mouse button on a card to turn it over. It will have a number on space, one to eight. There's another card with the same one. So that is six. That is four. Ooh, I have two cards face over the top. It, okay, is this concentration? Can I understand that? That's one. Oh, but it moves around. Tricky. Eight. Seven. That's no longer seven. Fine. You got me. I was keeping track of where they were. Oh, come now. Didn't move around that time at least. There it goes. Stop. Okay. I mean, it's a nice variant on concentration, certainly. Uh, There we go. I am the master. 38. I'm sure that's considered a fantastic score. My level of telepathy uh, depends on the number of turns it takes. So, negative telepathy? Um, now it happens. Don't tell me I do it again. Could I have looked at those? Damn it. I wasn't looking. Why are you shifting? Wait. Does card sense your awareness? And they will always sometimes shuffle themselves. Ooh, a special means the Harish. Don't go to that. But they will always shuffle themselves in set patterns. Experience players will keep track of their movements. Okay, what's up with the Harish? Hold off. No, not the Harish. Too common. 
order to help the economy with cellular nature, each rib of the skeleton city, especially in the hash and pod, is there a need to own a number of weapons. Swarms of doobies have decimated the Cracker family's fruit crop. They're not sure they can get by until the next crop comes in. Okay. Gift bids. What? Okay. There's, there's something very complicated going on here. Um, can I go up? Okay. So did we fail because we didn't help? Okay. Going on here. Uh, okay, well, Hammurabi. I've got 37% share of wine bread. Um, let's drop the price there. Fall uh, for the fall 5310. Sure. Well, we could always use another mother box. Um, market raising prices. Oh, look at the horse! Get the horse! Success! The caravan reports they will open a pretty kind of new village. Wait, what? Hey, back up! Finished, I guess. No. Only the wise one will return. Uh -oh. Parish is a whole market simulation. Proda, I need some. It's how I get my Crystallian suit charged back up. Well, looks like it's time to go back to the action part of the game. The Simit. Let's try to get this right. I mean, it definitely beats my walker. Hello. I wonder if you really value the work we do here. Your support is minimal, your interest seems limited. What you can get out of the city. Look, I'm just figuring out. I don't. Well, that was weird. weird. Okay, Bosu then. The word Bosu roughly translated means making the most of small resources, a concept dear to the Orogram, and the game of Bosu is a favorite tool to practice their philosophy. Um, the easiest way to learn the game is to play it. Hooray! In Bosu, each player uh, has six stones to place on a board, which is carved into it five rings split by eight rays. On half the intersection between ring and ring are position boxes for you to place your stone. The object is to encapsulate as many intersections as possible using your stones. Um, the boss who's scoring to the drop a few stones and put the to the. I'll show you how the pieces are. I don't understand. Okay, whatever. Um, Okay, you can stop tutoring me now. Right. I'm not gonna let him... Wait, how do you... Wait. 
What's happening? Is he just making all of the moves and I'm not doing any of the moves? Please stop. Please stop. Please stop fearing me. Please. It says to just move it over the... What is happening? It's gone out of control. I know you can take over all the spaces. Please. Please stop. I'll never hit the tutor button again, I promise. This has an end point. So... Okay. I surround with anything? I don't understand. Don't think I want. Okay. Yes, I won. What? Okay. If you place a stone, for example, in the inner ring, your opponent does not yield score or the intersections of the attack. Only all the smaller stone stones will score. It favorably linked with any other stones, but you can be blocked. Yeah. There's clearly some logic to this. So, so far, the best part of this game. the different difficulty levels? Am I going to get absolutely trounced? Probably. Let's find out. Can you control that? Yeah. Yeah, I really don't understand how this works. But you absolutely stopped me that time. Go back to copper. Okay. Game. I would like to learn how to play all these games. I know that's not going to happen. Um, but at least I can tell students. Watch out for this one. It's weird. This is the recharge with crystals. Warning, it must, it must be discharged. Oh, uh, no. God. I lost one charge. You know, it was it's been about to rain for about eight hours. I may call it here and come back later tonight and play some other games. Um because uh yeah, I should take another walk before uh before the day ends. Um but uh yeah, this is, I don't know what, 
Okay, can I go back into the summit now? Maybe I can do this. Let me try this again. Or are you going to tell me I'm not pulling my feet? looking person. I don't mean to be rude, but fine. Let's see what we can do. Save this game. Dad, why would I use that save feature when I can just use the save feature? I don't know if I even want to go back to this. These must be save saves for some other game, because I have not... Uh, Maybe one, definitely not two on this previously. Um, but, alright. Yeah. These games are very strange. And definitely, maybe I should just go sit outside and read the manuals again now that I've attempted to engage with them. Um, I don't know. What else could I play? Nah, I, I'm gonna, it's 6.30. So yes, I'm going to go outside. Maybe I'll stream some more tonight at like 8 or 9. Um, but um, yeah, these Amiga games, these it, it, it's way more tiring. Like maybe I'll stream like Slay the Spire or something that will not tire me out at all. Um, because I do find like it's been an hour and a half of me playing things I do not comprehend in the slightest. Um, well, King of Chicago, I get. I just suck at it. Um, all right. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you all later.